The stars at night are big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas, and that's where we find ourselves here this evening to see the stars shine. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Stars start with possession as we are now underway. Quick feed to Hintz. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Francis. Can't get it to go. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Oh, what the net. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. Over to Duchesne. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. The Avs are going to serve two for tripping here. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Well, if you're already a board and you never want to see the top-rated power play rested and coming on the ice, and that's exactly what they're doing. They've been talking at the bit, waiting for this one. They get it out of the defensive end. The Avs are on the attack. The Stars gain possession in their own end. Hooked away at center by Manson. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Takes a shot. How did he stop that one? What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Wagner's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Colorado's won the draw. Trying to exit the defensive zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Across the line, down the left wall. Fires it. Stopped by the goaltender. And he slides it quickly to Marchman. Quick shot. And he rings the post. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one. James and the pistol. Time to practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. You never want to see yourself on that screen in the video room on a goal, James. There's been a defensive error, and then you get caught covering up, and everyone gets caught out of position. As a result, it's in the back of your net. Dallas has jumped out to that early 1-0 lead. Something about playing on home ice, right? When you have home advantage and you strike first, you're playing with the lead, and that confidence resonates right down the bench. Everyone wants to be on the ice. Everyone's activated, and they just want to continue to push. Consistency will be the key now. Sagan's got it to the side. Francis with an impressive highlight reel save, James, and this is exactly what his team needed. You're under siege, you're under attack. You need a timely save to settle you in and find a way to get going north. Pavelski's got the puck along the wing. Lekkonen's taking it from his own end. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. Ben's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Here comes the official's call. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one goal deficit. You gotta find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Kowalski's looking to help the power play unit strike here, guys. Let's see if he can use his own ability to help them get a good look here. Dallas takes possession off the draw. Blocker saved by Francis. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And now it's grabbed by Gerard. Jostles the puck loose. Taken by Gerard. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Nice poke check. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Poked away in the neutral zone by Pavelski. Dallas has possession of it now. Here's a short pass to Robertson. Denied by the goaltender. Gets him away with the body. 
Moves it quickly over to Heiskanen. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. He's really turned it up a notch now. To the half wall to Johnston. Another feed. Oh, there's some body contact. And they'll finally get a chance to catch their breath here as they get it out. Slides it quickly to Hintz. He carries the puck up along the wing. Directed over to Dodanov. Here's a chance! And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Wagner's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Stars don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Moves it to the middle, and that doesn't go as it's off a stick. What a shot when it goes off the inside of the post. Ben's had a tough time around the net tonight, James. It's hitting the bar. He's got to find a way to cash in. You know, with his hands, at some point, if he gets the opportunity, he's going to put it in. Picked up along the wall by Duchesne. And he gets in front of it to block it. Here's a shot. No room for that one to get through. Taken along the wall by Ben. Slap shot from the point. We get a stoppage in play. Almost anarchy in front of that net. Well, there certainly is. It was chaotic as the ozone possession time is certainly up. They needed this rest. It was a great play by the tender. The Stars have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Passes it to McKinnon. Quick pass to Nichuskin. Broken up by Lindell. There's a chance in front! And that's stopped! Scooped up along the wall by Nichuskin. And now he moves it quickly to McKinnon. Nice hit on the play there. Sends the pass over. Dallas plays the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Steele. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Francis. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And he passes it up ahead to Steele. Takes the pass. Moves the puck. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. And now it's grabbed by Landeskog. A oh, great read on the play. Smith's got it in the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Oh, tonight on the play! Wow! That's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Puck scooped up by Byron. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Maintains control of the puck. Stones him in front. Takes the feed. He knows he's only one goal away from it. Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Penalty coming up here. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's shorthanded, James. The BK unit's going to have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. Guys, this penalty kill is ranked top 10 in the league. It's the first penalty kill they're going to have to do of the night, but they know how to get the job done here. They're so effective at shutting the other team down. We shouldn't be too concerned here, but let's see what happens. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. The Stars will kill off a few extra seconds now. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Colorado's got it in their own zone. And it's a quick pass to Taves. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and another save! Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Picked up along the boards by Nechuskin. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear. And they Finally get it out on a much-needed break for the D. Moves it to 
Dalton. Here's a shot. Scores! They tied it up. Opportunity knocking, and they take advantage of the power play. Well, you spend so much time in practice working on it because you want to have different layers to throw off the PK units, and I thought they did a real effective job of reading what they were giving, and then they were able to bury it. the midway mark in this period. We got a tie game. The Avs win the faceoff. Gerard's got it across the line. Dallas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Wax it into the offensive zone. And that's a smart heads-up play by O'Connor. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Takes the return feed. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Here's a short pass. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. Colorado's been battling this entire game, and it's been back and forth and still tied. They were looking to get the go-ahead goal there with that good look, but it goes off the pipe. Off the wall and right to the stick. Nice play. Delayed penalty looming. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Robertson's getting tossed with a game misconduct. McKinnon so strong on the puck. His balance makes it hard to knock him off, especially when he's using his unstoppable force zone ability. Hints can blow past everyone using his wheel zone ability. His speed makes him hard to defend. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. Loose puck and they're off to the races. And he slides it quickly to McCarr. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Dallas gains possession under man. Moves it quickly over to Lindell. Looking to set up offensively. Centering feed. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Passes it in front. And that doesn't connect. And they get the puck out. Looking to break out here on the power play. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Quick pass to Smith. A nasty whack, and the official's all over that one. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Across the line and on the attack. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Cuts into the paint, and that carries off a body in traffic. Nachushkin's on his way down to the ice, almost on one foot. Incredible display of awareness as he's able to get that pass off, which leads to a great scoring chance. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Heiskanen. Dallas has the puck. Carries it across the line. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's get the official decision. Duchesne's going off to the box for two minutes. O'Connor's out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. And a good save on the play as action continues. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays in the Scores! The go-ahead goal on the power play. And especially teams are critical, and this is exactly why you have the opportunity to change the momentum in the game, and you do 
squid with an executed power play. Everyone is so focused on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice, he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. Colorado's got a one-goal lead after that strike here in the first. Uh, it's all about quick strike, and now they've got the go-ahead, so they know that they can be confident with the puck, but they certainly can't sit back and protect it. And off the face-off, they take possession. Oh, he'll feel that one. of this period. The Avs have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Across the point. And he's knocked off the puck there. Penalty expires and the PP unit gets set to go to work. And he makes the save with ease. Let's see what the officials are calling. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck, but you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Tips inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. The Stars have it against the wall. Quick feed to Taves. Fantastic save! Ottinger's all over that. Scores! And the kid has his first of the NHL. Oh, that's got to feel so good. You always want to feel like you're contributing and you want to give a lasting impression, especially when you're new. This is a moment he won't forget. And the rookie gets his first goal, and that will be one he will never forget, James. And everyone on the bench is standing up congratulating him. What a moment. Well, a special moment for that young rookie, and now he's got to find a way to try to calm those nerves. Uh, it's going to be tough because the adrenaline is going to be a flow in. You know, when he was a young child, he probably thought about this moment over and over. And now that it's happened, probably... <laughs> Shot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Here in the late goings of the period, Colorado's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Dallas wins the draw in the neutral zone. And he takes the feed. Nothing doing! Slides it up to Landeskog. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. Dallas gets the puck near the boards. Ten seconds. The Stars Ten kick it along the wall. Sends it over, big time save, oh my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Just a few seconds right. remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Ten seconds to go. And loses possession after a solid hit. Manson standing up, ready to go. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. The Stars failed to capitalize on the power play. Fires it into the offensive zone. Gives him a choke with that hit. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Oh, he's going to get cold on that slash. Too much traffic in the lane. Oh, what a save! He stopped it wide! It's all going to backfire. They scored earlier on the power play, James, and it was simple, but it was effective. Why? Because they know the personnel, they know the strengths of their team, and guess what? It's all on the blue line and the way they shoot the puck. And it is hard and it is heavy, but it's about getting the screen in front. Whether it's a flash screen, whether it's a double stack, doesn't matter. They just got to get there and take away the eyes of the goaltender. 
The Stars can play it from the defensive zone. Dallas is across the line and in the offensive zone. Moves it to Duchesne. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Colton side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Duchesne's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Oh, what a on the clapper. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Ben's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's see what the officials say. Gerard's going to the box for tripping. The Stars with a five on three time to work with here. Colton's won the faceoff. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Great heads up play with the stick by Byram. The Stars scoop it up along the boards. Just wide. Grabbed along the boards by Pavelski. Scores! And there's another power play goal. Wow. The practice makes perfect and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel, the coaching staff has showed them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. Johansson's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. The Stars looking against the half wall. Big time stop. We got to stop until the puck sails over the glass. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Johansson's won a big draw on their own end. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Stars have it now. Here's a short pass to Johansson. And he takes the pass. Comes up with the stop. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store. And we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Beckins and period number two set to get underway. The Avs penalty killers get off to a good start, winning possession here. Moves it on over to Sagan. The Avalanche have possession shorthanded. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Now a quick pass to Pavelski. He was totally locked in on that play. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. The Stars gain possession. Moves it quickly over to Heiskanen. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Fransuz has been really focused in the crease tonight. You can tell that he's trapping the puck with ease and comfort, but his team is playing really well in front of him as well. They're gaining confidence off of his saves, and they're creating opportunities in the offensive zone. The Avs win the draw. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. The Stars can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Well, just been an average night on the PK, but you know how your numbers get better? You get one right there, and they did a good job to be able to kill that one off. Dallas may have run into a hot goaltender here. They've had a lot of shots on goal, yet they still find themselves behind here early in the second. 
Good heads up play to sneak in. Well, the goaltender heard the ping and was hoping that that puck redirected out of the net. Unfortunately, this time it goes in. The Stars needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. Ben's going to play it against the half wall. Ben swings it behind the net. That one. Colorado's across the blue line. Fires it on net. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Loses his balance on the play. Puck dumped in. Dallas takes possession along the wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. Let's it go from the slot. And he turns that one aside. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. of offense. Pavelski's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. The Stars get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Dodano. Receives the pass. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Slides it over with pace to Pavelski. He carries the puck up along the wing. Shot! Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. From the left side, they gain the zone. Moves it to the middle! What a chance, but they can't connect! Dodanov's running and gunning tonight, James. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. And the puck clears the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. 
And he slides it quickly to Marchman. Puts it on there. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? To his teammate. Absolutely no fear to get in front of a slap shot. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Dallas has taken possession off the draw on their own end. Across the line from center. The Stars have it in the offensive end. Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and out willing everyone around you. Heiskanen's a great skater, and he's able to skate backwards real smoothly, guys. His in-reverse zone ability lets him back it up with ease when needed. Holton's won the draw inside his own end. And the penalty killing unit doing work. Excellent kills. We're both back to even strength. They've had a great night on the PK. It doesn't get much better than this, James. The coach certainly knows it. Everything they practice has worked out to their benefit right now. It's great line skating, vision, and anticipation. And those are three skills that are required on the PK. And now he moves it quickly to McKinnon. Takes the feed. Feeds it over on the rush. What a stop at the paddle by Archer. Oh, another great save right there. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Stars take it along the wing. Picked up along the wall by Ben. In close! And the Lance Club goes back in that. Stars! Crucis Wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the forecheck. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. has doubled up their lead now, up by two here in the second. Well, you know that their coaches will be preaching the killer instinct. Yes, they're up by two, but one more can really put the sail in the ship. Puck picked up by Taves. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. And now it's to Johansson. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Gets the puck in deep. Dallas has it in the defensive end. Puck leaves the zone on the bad pass, and they'll be forced to regroup. Pass to Lekanen. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Picks up the puck in his own end. Poked away at center by Johansson. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Tries to feed it over to Rantanen. The Avs take possession in the neutral zone. Feeds it down low. Quick feed to Gerard. The Stars will play it in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Lindell. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Moves the puck down low. Moves it to Faxa. What a steal in his own end. Slick feed. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Taken by McKinnon. Back to the point it goes. Oh, and there's a great save by Ottinger. Here's a short pass to Faxa. Fires it into the offensive zone. Byron's lugging the puck. Tries to get it to Nutruskin. Break away. He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. Man, is he ever flying, James? It looks like everyone else is in quicksand, and he is moving. He gets on his horse. He's in all alone, one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. He doesn't freak out. He doesn't panic. Shows a ton of confidence and lets that shot rip. 
The Avs have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They've cut the deficit within one. Puck grab by Harley. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Marchman. And that pass goes off a stick. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, the rest are calling a really tight game. And man, this has been a parade to the penalty box. And the entire bench looks agitated. And as a result, they keep taking more. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Hens is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. The Stars win the draw here in their own end. They clear the zone. The Avs gain control of the puck. Takes the shot, and he shuts the door on that. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they send it down the ice. Colton's moving the puck through his own zone. And now it's grabbed by Hintz. Poked away by McCarr. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Pavelski stick handling in his own zone. Dumps the puck in. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Colorado's on the attack. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Rosinen's out there on this shift, guys, and he's looking to spark this team. If he can use his zone ability to generate scoring chances, he can really influence this game. Goes right to the crease. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Frank Kuz freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Dallas will go to work here in the offensive end. A center feed! to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it, and he found a way to put it home. Dallas extends the lead to two as they make their way back to center ice. Is there a concern of complacency now when you've got that two-goal lead? Well, I think the big thing is you've got a comfortable lead, but you can't get comfortable, if you know what I'm saying, James. Yep. You've got to continue to attack. You can't sit back. You've got to continue to push and do the things that got you the lead in the first place. Dodanov's almost back on the ice. And he makes a save there. Puck slid down the ice. Taken by Gerard. Both teams back to even strength, and after giving up a shorthanded goal, it's an opportunity to power. Scores! Well, are you having fun just yet? This is back and forth all night here. Oh, we just love this, don't we, James? I mean, the back and forth action is so entertaining. We've got lots of goals, but I'll tell you what, typically after a team scores, they've got the momentum in their favor, but their opponent each and every time is responding. The Avalanche have shown a burst of life here after that strike, Cheryl. They're ready to go now. They showed a lot of punch there to get themselves within one, James. They're on their toes, but most importantly, they're attacking and they're driving the net right now. The Stars win it. Great use of the stick at center by Manson. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. The Stars have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. 
Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. Locked in on that save as play continues. And he slides it quickly to Harley. Here they are on the attack. My goodness, what a save by Francouz. Quick pass to Gerard. And now it's over to Johansson. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Harley. Feeds the puck to Marchman. Poked away by Gerard. Looks to get the puck over to Colton. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Johnston. And he takes the dish. Oh, he has scores! This game's turning into a teeter-totter. Uh, the coaches may not like it very much because it's kind of like throwing defense out the window, but I will say it's entertaining and fun. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it, and he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Dallas extends the lead to two here late in the second period. Cheryl, nice position to be. James, I've loved their game. They've been dominant in all three zones. They found a way to execute to get that cushion. The question's going to remain whether they can be the same team in the third period as they were in the first and second. Across the line. Slides the puck against the wall. Keeps possession on the play. Feeds it over to Drouin. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. The Stars have it from their own end. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Scores! Off the post it in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one is perfectly executed. Oh, man, that's a tough one for the goaltender. He's still looking for it. He's bombing Evan and flowing because there's so many layers in front of him. He doesn't even get a look at this. Dallas is having one of those nights that we'll be looking at these highlights in the morning going, wow, wow, and more wow. Yeah, and they'll want to continue to wow into the third period and continue where they left off in the latter half of this game. But in order to do that, they're going to have to have good habits and not give any life to their opponent. The Stars have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages of this second period as they continue to lead big. Dallas goes to work in the offensive zone. Moves it to steal. And that goes off the glove. Play continues here. Well, this is a really great save. Huge hit against the glass. I love the physicality in this game, but now there's going to be a stoppage in play, James, as that glass, it is broken. Dallas continues to lead here in the late stages of period number two. They have been the more complete team offensively. Puck scooped up by Lekanen. Caves plays it now. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Here's a short pass to Lekanen. And a quick save on that one. Gets the puck in deep. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Moves it quickly over to Lekanen. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. And he makes the stop with the glove to get a piece of it. Ottinger's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Landeskog, the leader of this team, James. He knows exactly what to do. He has been in these situations before. He's got to put this team on his back with this offensive zone place off and lead the charge. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. And off the draw, they win possession. Slides the puck to Duchesne. Quick pass to Ben. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. And some good footwork to kick it away. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. 
The Avs pick up steam and are on the attack. Denies him on the one-timer. Goaltenders at the bench with the delayed penalty being called. They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. Good use of the body on the play. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. The Avs once again send out their power play unit. Dallas has the puck here off the faceoff. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And he keeps possession. Here's a shot. Oh, what a great save by Ottinger. Chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop on the play! Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Quick pass to Steele. Shot! Big save! Just as time runs out! We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. and moves on out here with this man advantage. And he moves it up to McKinnon. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. McKinnon's ready for the draw on this man advantage. They win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Avs gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, and he whiffs. Dallas gains possession shorthanded. And they move the puck out of harm's way. McCarr's got it in the defensive end. Grantonen's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Taken along the wall by Landeskog. And he stops that kick. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. And the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they gotta kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four on four action. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. And it banks off a stick in traffic. The Stars will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Two on one, here we go. Slides it across. Handles the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Nichuskin. Quick shot. Wide of the net. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it. He misses the net. Some good stick work to force that turnover. The Stars gain possession along the wall. Good stand up hit on the play. Quick feed to Byron. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Q 
keeps a hold of the puck. Mercer to Minshewskin. Dallas looks to get things going now with the puck. The Avs take over on possession. And he denied that opportunity. Made that stop. It's almost as if the puck is like a magnet when he gets to the midline of the ice here, James. He just knows how to have the right timing and get his hands away from his body to be able to connect with the puck. It happens all the time. Wagner's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Great pressure with the stick. Now a quick pass to Parisi. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable lead and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything as well, moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looks comfortable. Big hit and that frees up possession. Dallas is on the attack. Great reach with the poke check by Gerard. And he's ridden off the puck. Dallas has it against the half wall. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. This play does not happen without that beautiful pass, James. It's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck. And when you skate onto it, you have some speed. You can get that shot off the way you want. And he capitalizes perfectly. Dallas continues to be on point here in this third period, finding more and more offense. Well, yeah, I mean, they've been generating offense. They've been strong in their own zone as well, James. They've just been great from start to finish. The coach is going to love this one. It's been a terrific performance, a 200-foot game that's led to this score. Here's a pass down low. Sagan's been so dangerous. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. There's a shot. Let's get the call. We got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. They got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Colorado's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, sometimes it can be frustrating and it can give you energy. And this power play has just been average tonight, James. But the good thing, they have an opportunity right here to get above average. Stoppage and play offside the call. Faxos recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Stars win possession here in the open ice. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Takes the puck at the point. Here's a short pass to Minchuskin. Oh, how do you miss from there? Well, this is a tough miss, James. I think he might have rushed it or even panicked a little bit. Typically, he's going to put this shot on target, but instead, he misses. Handles the pass. Moves it quickly over to McCarr. They score! And if they ever needed one, this was exactly the time. Well, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflating when you give up so many goals, James. But you got to figure that this is a step in the right direction. But what can they do with it now? They got to build or it's over. The abs are showing a little pride here in the third. Really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And he slides it quickly to Lekanen. And that goes off course off a of body. Puck picked up by Hintz. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Steps into it. That's using the body on the block. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten. And he somehow got a piece of that. Suddenly, they're right back into it. I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity, and it gets them within two. And this two-goal deficit, it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game. And if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. 
Well, this is just a great play, James. Sometimes when you see the lane to the net, you take it right away, but not this time. He waits until there's a screen. You know, if the goaltender can't see it, you're going to have a better opportunity to put it in. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Slotted out of midair. Huge steal in his own end. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Dishes it to Landeskog. Quick pass to McKinnon. Puck grab by Nachuskin. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And a solid stop on the play there. Sends it in front. And that's intercepted. McKinnon's got it against the boards. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Dallas has about a half a period to go here as they lead it in this third period. Johnson's won the draw here in their own zone. Dallas moves ahead with the puck. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Dodanov. They go on the attack from the left side. Quick pass across to Marchman. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, and that's off the block. And what a stop by Francouz. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Avs win the draw. And now he passes up to Wagner. That's sent in deep, and the forwards will change. And the puck's knocked loose. Dallas looks to break out in their own end. Quick feed to Byron. Rocks him. And it's a quick pass to Faxa. Dumps it in. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Works it across to Lekanen. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Dallas looks to move the puck from their own end. The Stars will play it from the defensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. Big play inside the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. The Avs take it along the wall. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Feeds it on over to Nichuskin. Passes it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Dallas is set to go back to work on the power play. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James. And if it ain't broke, they don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup. And man, is it working tonight. The Stars have it now. Colorado's got the puck shorthanded. Drills him. The Stars carry it along the wall. Oh, what a stop by Francouz. Denies him again. <laughs> Wagner's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Byram. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Sends it over to Parisi. Hard hit, frees up the puck. The Stars take it across the line. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. He was locked in there. Frank Kuz has it and hangs on for the stoppage of play. Well, he's been excellent all night, just managing the puck, managing the game situation right there. Duchesne's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And off the draw, they'll take possession. 
Good defensive effort to poke it away. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Makes his presence known on the ice. Moves it to Ben. Centering to the middle. And that's stopped. Oh, wow, stops the game. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. It's a contact sport. No, they didn't like that, and here we go. They're going to fight. I didn't like it because it was a dangerous play, James, and you got a player down as a result, and of course you got to respond, and it was out and drop in the mitts. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking the thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. The home side is going to gain a lot of adrenaline after that win. Frustration, physicality, and that fight says it all. The Truscan side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone face-off. Here's a short pass to Hintz. And that's deflected off someone in front. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. Dallas has to be pleased with what they've executed tonight. This game plan has been top-notch. It really has. I mean, they've been physically and emotionally engaged right from puck drop, and the score is reflective of it. Hintz takes possession after that center ice face-off. Moves it quickly over to Marchman. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. On the attack along the boards. The Stars gain possession. He got all of that hit. Slides the puck over. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick pass to Lekanen. Moves the puck along the half wall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. And now it's grabbed by Marchman. Nice pass back. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Takes a shot. Turns him away. Heiskanen's got the puck in his own zone. The Stars played along the boards. The Avs have it against the wall. Here they come. Kill the left side on the attack. Steele's got the puck. And that's deflected. Jostled off the puck. Quick feed to Lindell. Close, but not close enough. The Avs have it behind the cage. Good check, frees the puck up. Moves it to Lindell. Here's a shot. Glove save. The Stars' offense has paid off in dividends tonight. No shortage of scoring chances, and they have capitalized on many. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Moves it up. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. Taken by McKinnon. Stones up with the blocker. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Frank Cruz has the puck and holds on for a whistle. Dallas has shown no signs of slowing down. They have put lots of pucks on net and a lead late in this third period. Truex won it in their own end. Colorado's looking to break out. Here's a short pass to Truex. Fires it, and that shot dies in traffic. Moves it quickly over to Parisi. And a strong effort on that play. Dumps it in. Colorado's got the puck. 
And he slides it quickly to Wagner. Moves it over to Drouet. Here's a pass in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Wagner. Colorado's got it along the wall. The Stars gain control of the puck. Inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Lekanen. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Sends it into the offensive zone. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Drives to the sweet spot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And the puck dies with the trapper save. A lot of people were excited to see this head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Do we have a winner? Carlin Bates standing by with her answer. McKinnon's got my vote here, guys, and this was a close decision for me. The players were tied in points, so for me it was hard to choose, but I thought he worked hard and he's really impressed me. Dallas is having one of those nights that anything that they've put on net seems to light the lamp. And they lead it big time here late in this third period. Quick feed to Rantanen. That's blocked. And it scores! And there's the counter punch we were looking for, Cheryl, as they answer back. Well, they answer back and they take the win or the momentum out of their opponent's sails. This is exactly what they needed to get back on the board and get the momentum shift back in their favor. The Avs haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to fall back on this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They're going to find a way to get some chances. McKinnon's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Takes the pass. Oh, that goes off the basket. He keeps it out using his head on that play. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Moves it to Wood. The Avs cross the line and gain the zone. Hints is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Now, we all know that the end result of this game, James, even though the buzzer hasn't gone, you take the penalty, now you can to get your goaltender out. A number of factors that led to this loss. Colton's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. He just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. It's not good at all. Huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. That knocks him off the puck. They're going to have to find a way to get a goal here critically as they've got the extra attacker out. Along the half wall with the puck. you got to anticipate an aggressive draw here. Well, an aggressive draw is something they've worked on in practice. They'll look for the quick win with the extra attacker. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. And you can chop up another victory for a team that is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, I mean, they've got a winning streak going, and, and any time you have something like that going, just feel like you're going to win when you step onto the ice and you're confident, you've got swagger, and everything seems to be clicking. Got to luck, and you've got to really embrace it when it feels like that. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from Rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. i got to get to bed. See you.